This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 369 for Thursday, October 29th, 2020. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Is this Welcome. your first time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my line. Hey, you know, I was reading the news <clears throat> over the weekend. Please don't. Did you uh, did you hear about the famous Italian chef that died? No. Yeah, he passed away. Doctors can only do so much. Here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, I used to teach English. I got hung up on the who and that thing. But <laughs> All right. Without further ado, I know I'd like to think people have been waiting for the big reveal of our fourth. Yes, I believe it's fourth. Fourth and final Retro 51 Anderson Pens exclusive pen. And so we're going to talk about it. Um, no, no, we should show the video first. Show the video and then... Show the video. Okay. Let's show the video. All right. So without further ado, here is the final reveal video. So, Palmer, um, as many of you know, we do have a store in Chicago inside the Palmer House Hilton, and we have spent a lot of time in Chicago over the past three and a half years, going down, finding a location. Um, in June of last year, I moved down to take over the running of the store. Uh, we had an apartment two blocks away, and so we have we have really um, I wouldn't say immersed ourselves, but um, really spent a lot of time and been influenced by a number of things yeah. in Chicago, uh, including Paisano's Pizza, Paisano, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tony's Patisserie. Tony's, sorry, Tony's rest in peace. Um, and a number of other restaurants. We, Miller's Pub, we love. Um, but when we were designing the final pen, we really uh, had fallen in love with um, one specific aspect of Chicago architecture, and that was... The, uh, the peacock doors. And if you've been to the Palmer House, you've seen them. Uh, they're right there as you come in the front door. Uh, they're gorgeous, they're made by Tiffany, and um, love them. Everybody takes pictures of it, yes. takes pictures by it. There's a big plaque uh, talking about them. There are, are several uh, in the building, and uh, but the main one right in front uh, as you walk in. So our new pen, Palmer, has the peacock. Yes, I know I just did that. <laughs> she hates it when I do that. I don't know why I do that. I'm emphasizing uh, the peacock on the side. We showed you just about every other aspect of the pen in the videos. Just to uh, mess with you. Uh, except for the peacock on the side. Um, our own rendition of the peacock and if you look closely you'll find our initials somewhere in the pen they might be up here that. Yep. Um, but uh really acid etched uh brass with the darker antique trim and then the finial on the top uh just really cool so we'll do some close-ups of that but um start to finish we had a really as always great experience working with richard um you know, this time, I, I will say that the design was a little harder to visualize because we've done um, a wrap, a screen printed wrap before. Mm. And, you know, you see the, the laid out rectangle that they're going to wrap around it and you can picture it. Here, it was harder to, at least for me, to envision because it's engraved. It's the acid etched. And so the design that we saw flat was... Hard to picture, at least for me. Show them the tube, because the tube is awesome. The tube also has matching graphics. With gold. 
Yeah, with gold. Uh, right on the, the... In the front. In the front, yep. So, uh, the tube is gorgeous. Um, Retro did such a beautiful job. In fact, um, when George at Retro saw the prototype, um, <laughs> he actually snagged the first couple pens. Uh, yeah, well, so uh, let's talk about that. Uh, These are not numbered. Not numbered. There are 750. George bought the first 10. <laughs> uh, and uh, we have given one to each of our, our staff uh, as a thank you for putting up with us. Um, and, and all, all the their work. hard work and all the hard work that's going to happen when we ship these. Yes. Uh, so there is a little bit less than 750. Uh, originally, we were going to say two per, but uh, the early um, uh, signups for this pen got to be at such a point that if everybody took two, we'd be out. So uh, we are limiting to one per, please. One per person. And... Um, and, uh, and they're just gorgeous. They're the, just... the whole idea behind the one per person is, number one, to eliminate some of the pens immediately showing on eBay. I just hate that. But most importantly, um, so that everybody gets a chance to get one. I yeah. know, especially with retro closing and all of these dealer exclusives coming out and all the retro poppers, people are really... Um, I think building up some anxiety about trying to get the pen. Yeah. Um, so one per person and uh, while they may not keep track of that at the store while they're packing and shipping and packing and shipping, um, I will be at home. Well, it's, it is gorgeous. It's really a, a, you know, George said it's one of the prettiest ones he's ever seen. Yes. And it's, I, I, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy now that I can actually put it in my pocket and <laughs> keep it on my desk. Talk you know, about we, it. We, we, were, we were wrapping them up at the store and then uh, customers would come into the store and I'd have to like, I'd like, could I close it just in case they see it and they would say, oh, you know, because we had some people who I know have signed up for it that who came in the store. Yeah, who are local that came into the store. And I was like, mm, I hope they don't understand what these tubes are. So, right. um, yeah, it's, it's and great. We did um, jump the gun a little bit thinking that since they had shipped early, we were going to launch it early. But we um, are sticking with our scheduled launch of today. Um and the uh, podcast listeners yes. get first crack, actually, because right after the podcast, we will announce it to the general public and, yes. and put it in. So if you listen if, right away, if you're, if you're watching now, you go. have advanced, you have about 15 <laughs> minutes advance notice. Go. So, um, you know, the other thing is that we have taken advantage of the week in between when it arrived and when we launch. And so we've are actually started to pack some of these up so that we can get them out to you. If you order today, they, um, depending on how late in the day you, you order, it quite probably will go out today. Yeah, we have, we have more, than, more than half are already boxed, boxed up, up and ready to go. I mean, it would, we could, it'd take less than a minute to, to yeah. get it fully shipped. So, so that's exciting. Uh, my plan is to ship them all in one day, so. Okay. That's what I'm hoping. And our so. mailman knows to they know. bring a truck. They know. We, 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 we had a new, we had a sub the other day and he came in and he says, well, do you guys have any mail? And we had, you know, all these buckets stacked up. And so I, I hope he's not the one that comes <laughs> <laughs> today. But anyway, so there it is. The okay. long awaited uh, Anderson Penn's exclusive Palmer. Love it. So. So excited. Excellent. Uh, what, what else, what else we got here? Uh, we are going to talk about uh, Visconti. Oh, good. I, I just happen to have my crystal dream. Yep. What do you have in it? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a um, it's a blue black kind of ink. Is it a Kobe? It might be. I don't remember what I put in it. I honestly don't. I've remember. I've started writing it down. I I want to. I'm I'm still. I'm not repeating inks. I'm trying new inks. Uh, except this pen doesn't work very well in a sample vial. It's, right. you know, it makes a mess with the vacuum and um, you really need more than three milliliters to, to fill the pen. So okay. I did find a, I think I found an open bottle of ink. Uh, it might be Sailor 941. I don't know. Oh, that's I, a I, I'm not, I'm not really sure what's in there. In. You had a box of open ink for uh, free ink sample Fridays. Yes. Or free, free, uh, um, free fill Fridays. Free fill Fridays. And I think I grabbed one out of there, but you had, you know, you had a dozen or more bottles in there. Yes, and I did. That's, uh, that's what, I used something from there. 
Okay. All right. So whatever you had in there. All right. So speaking of ink and Visconti, what's up with that? Um, uh, so what we're going to do is, <laughs> sorry, I had, had a little moment. Uh, this is the Blue Lagoon, by the way. Damn, that's uh, a pretty it, it is nice. It is really, really nice. Um, what are we talking about? Uh, ink. N uh, not the pen. So we, are, we are giving away a free bottle of ink, your choice of color, uh, with the purchase of the Blue Lagoon, the Opera Master Polynesia, or any of the new... Homo sapien colors. The lava colors. Uh, the lava colors. Yeah, these guys here. Um, so a free, free bottle of Visconti ink uh, with purchase. And how long does that go on for? It goes on until it goes on. Okay. Until I decide. While supplies last. While supplies last, yep. So uh, that's new, and who knows? We may decide to add it to other Visconti pens. Okay. Um, and that leads into? That leads into? Dun, dun, dun. Fountain Pen Day. Fountain Pen Day. Can't really talk about what we're going to do for Fountain Pen Day, but we're going to do some cool stuff. Yes. I think it's going to be cool. Yes, we've already... Have we made the final no, cut? No, we haven't okay. made the final cut. Right. I'm still adding things to the list. There are going to be certain things on sale. There will be ink. Uh, there will be pens on sale, ink on sale. Including vintage pens. Including some vintage pens. Um, so uh, if you've got your, your heart set on something, uh, it may or may not be there. Right. Um, if you want to make sure that you get it, then you could buy it now. Buy it now. But um, pretty much uh, a lot of vintage pens that, uh, that are up on the site. And uh, I think there's some paper involved. There are a couple pieces of paper, mostly ink and pens. Um, and um, some special deals, mm -hmm. free things with purchase, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's yes. a pretty, pretty big list. Uh, I'm over probably in the 400 product range right about now. So uh, there'll be some good deals. There'll be some good deals. Listen, I don't want to count this stuff at the end of the year. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We already counted it I don't know how many times this oh, year. Oh, I know. Um, and the less I have to count I starting know. now, the better. So, all right. um, so Fountain Pen Day, we, uh, keep an eye out. We will, uh, we will have a bunch of stuff in. Uh, we're probably going to run that throughout the whole weekend. But keep in mind that um, there are a number of things that cannot and will not ever be discounted. Um, sailor pens, um, pilot pens, yep. S.T. DuPont and Visconti. Yeah, there's um, only so much we can do. We are bound by those right. agreements. And, and no matter what, we do not, if it's a current model, those cannot be discounted any further. So. Um, but. Uh, well, that would match my shirt, wouldn't it? Did you already have one? Well, this one actually might match better. I thought you had an Inferno. I don't have an Inferno. I didn't grab one. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, there will be a number of uh, cool things. Yep. And some of them will be like the last one we have. Yes. Yeah. To um, mark it down and move it. So a lot of it, some of it may be close out things. Yep. So, so there you go. All right. So the next thing confuses me. Why does it confuse you? I guess we've just never talked about it before. Well, then that's why we're talking about it now. <laughs> uh, I, did, I should have brought more, but I wanted to start with with these. And you know, I, I really love pocket journals. I've got one right here. I got my trusty Rhodia Unlimited, which is beat all. This is several beat years old. Hell. It is beat. Um, but I like it for, for writing notes or if I'm somewhere, I'm in a meeting and um, and you used to use the petite journal. I used journal. to use the petite journal, and I, I've been I've been actually rotating around. Um, wow, for, you're rotating ink, you're rotating notebooks. You feel well. Like <laughs> I just I discovered I actually had quite a number of small uh, A7 uh, A7 ish sized pocket journals. So I'm trying to kind of experiment my way through them, uh, and then there's a few more that I would like to try, and then I will settle on which one I want to use. So. Uh, we used okay. to use, I used to use a petite journals. These come in two sizes. Large um, and small. You know, small and kind of smallish. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's like A7 and I don't know what you call this one. It's, it's, bigger, it's, than it's, it's bigger than A7. It's bigger than A7. But they're nice. I, I like these particularly because they're, the, the covers are, are flexible. They have perforated pages. They're fountain pen friendly. You always the perforated I, I just pages. love that because when I'm done with something, I want to throw it out. I don't want a messy notebook with 
all my, you know, because I like to do... Like this one? Like that one. I like to do... <laughs> I put personal notes in there, too, so don't, don't show that up. I'm your wife. I know. <laughs> but, you know, I, I like to... It's lists. So what, are we gonna, what, what are we going to do for the store today? Or what's what's going on? Or what's coming what's in? Here? Um, and, uh, and so then I throw them out when I'm done. <laughs> this is not book club. <laughs> so, wow. So I like these. I like these a lot. These are great. And the best part about these is they are not <laughs> they are not expensive. They're super cheap. A buck fifty for this small one, two bucks for this one, this large one. It's we medium size. We don't say cheap, we say it's a good value. It's a great value. <laughs> it is. It's a great value. It um, and you don't have to worry about it if you get you know, you get a, a some of these journals. They're more expensive and you know you want to take care of them and you don't want to scratch right. them. I, I don't care. You know, this goes in my pocket. If it gets bashed up, I mean you should see the ones that I completed <laughs> because I, I sometimes keep them. Well apparently I'm not allowed to look. Well, so. you're not allowed to look. Um, <laughs> it's like going into a woman's purse. You know, you can't just do that. Uh, you need permission first. Honey, go get my keys. Okay, that works. So, but they hold up very well. All right, I'm just gonna keep moving on. I don't know <laughs> what's going on here. Um these are great. I, I haven't tried these yet. The uh, the small light term. So the light term is the A7. A7, yeah. And these see, are that's huge. I think, see, I think the rhodia that I have is a little bit too big. So these might be just. Now, these are thicker. They're thicker, yeah. But So. And they've got a little page marker, which I like. Um, so you, 168 just pages. Really trying hard to work through that so you can have a I, new one. I, I am working okay. on, yeah, trying to get a new one. So Several fun colors, and there are more. They come in lined, and they come in blank. And um, What do you prefer? Uh, I like lined, preferably. Okay. I don't too. always I don't always color within the lines, per se. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I like some guidance. Um, well, I try to give you guidance. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's not working. Um, so they come in a number of colors. I should mention the petite comes in uh, three different colors: mm -hmm. uh, the ocean, the uh, the pink, and the tan. So anyway, I like them. They're cool. Great. Um, we should have like a little A7 segment every week because there's so many of them. Mario Mon makes a really really nice yes. flip top one. That I is love adorable. that one. Brody also makes the uh, what is it the 8559 or 8550. Um, with the, it has a, it's a dot grid with a cover that that like slides up. Like cover. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's cool, it's super cool. So, anyway, okay. I'm just excited about it. I know. It, right. Me excited about paper is whatever. It's cute. It is cute. Yeah. Now I get to get excited. Go. Hobonichi weeks. We're going to talk about weeks. Uh, we got in our second order, our restock of hobo. Um, some of these actually sold so quickly. Um, yeah. I never got to see them, and I only saw them on the website, and so I'm really, I love the toad lily. I just think that's yep. really pretty. Now, I already have one, so I'm good, but that was one no, of these the... These are beautiful. Yeah, this... Yeah, look at that. These two were the two that I was debating between, and then got neither. I went with the... <laughs> <laughs> they sold out! <laughs> Well, and then I ended up with one with a cover, so it didn't yeah, matter. I yeah. went with the latte beige. Yeah. Camp is the adorable. The camp is adorable. It's really super adorable. Uh, there's Absolutely. Also, there's also a camp um, in a techo cover set. Yep. Um, but this is cute. It's got a little fire. Uh, we've got trees. A, uh, we've got trees. We've got a, a tent, and then there's a lantern there. Really, really adorable. Um, and then there's the uh, the sparrow. That's a they, you know, this year so they just cute. really had some some great, great colors and patterns. No. This one's the plaid. Um, you know, every year they come out with different ones. And uh, I have to say, I think I like most of this year's better yeah, than this last is, year. This is last a solid... year had some cute ones. Yeah, and then there were some kind of really very Japanese in the sense that it almost, you know, on the Western side, it, it we, we didn't, we didn't really understand. Right. Um, we got the mint. That's kind of a neat color, uh, and then we do have some we well, megas left. Uh, this is the uh, the pink um, that uh, we didn't get the first time, and I accidentally ordered. But uh, <laughs> so we have we have some megas How did that left. Happen? I don't know. I have no idea. We've got some megas left, and uh, and some Tacho cover sets. Yes. Uh, cousins are probably gone by now. 
mostly. Um, yeah. And uh, we will, starting around December 1st, if there are any Techo sets, A6 sets left, we are going to break them up. We'll sell the Techos. So if you haven't got a Techo, um, we're going to break up whatever we have left and we'll sell the covers separate from the Techos. So but if, not any time, not until December, December 1st. So yeah, usually one you're thinking 1st. about, just buy it now because yep. this was our last, uh, our second and final order for this year. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Let's see this one is mine. That's nice. I That's love nice. this. And that was actually like somebody bought it and then returned it. Yes. And you just said, yep, nope. Yeah. <laughs> I had an, I didn't even have it put it in the case. Yeah. So I actually use mine as a wallet. So I have my hobo here in the front. And then Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You got the latte. Is that which one is that? This oh, is that's the, the so it's a white lines. Oh yeah, no, the, the sorry, yeah, lines. the white lines nope. ivory. Yep. Nope. And then I have my little notebook that we're mm. not gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about the memo pad sets? Well, we did talk about it, and oh. I talked about passwords, and you yelled at me, so I'm just not mm. going to do that anymore. Okay. And then I actually use it as a wallet. So, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a real nice. I'm glad you like that. And, it's uh, very attractive. Leather on the inside. Yep, leather on the inside. I've got a couple coins in here, all sorts of other stuff in there. So Now, those are, those are sold out. So. Yes. Um, Unless you make a ridiculous offer. God, I do that all the time. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Go ahead. It is not for sale. <laughs> it um, could be. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, there, There's there another are, one I saw that I liked. <laughs> oh, get out. Um, lots, of, lots of weeks left. Uh, like I say, uh, lots of weeks and some Techo sets. So if you haven't got it, um, they are the, the weeks are now selling out much faster now that the, the, the A6s and the Cousins are dwindling. So the weeks are kind of, right. are kind of flying out. Uh, next up. Uh, we knew that these were coming, and uh, there was a little bit of a wait, um, which always kills Se me. Several months, um, actually. Yeah, which which is agonizing because you know there's new ink coming, but you've got to wait and wait and wait. So three new Ink Studio colors. Uh, three have been discontinued, and so they have been replaced with these. Um, 280 is kind of a... It's kind of a 280-ish kind of color. <laughs> well, you know, normally it's but whatever. It's it's a yellowish okay, that brown. Was, that wasn't very was funny. funny. Um, 252 is kind of a pinky mauve. Uh, I haven't swabbed these yet. 224 looks nice. 224, um, I think, is going to be very popular. Purplish, yep. bluish, kind of ish. It's nice. It looks I nice. I hope you do the descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> just, just buy it. Uh, nice. Uh, of course, they're 20 mil bottles, and they do have the stickers, of course, in them. But yeah, these will replace these three. Replace three others um, that you probably don't care about because nobody bought them anyway. Um, but uh, so three new additions. In fact, they came in. Lisa didn't tell me they were coming in, and Amanda's opening them up, and she's like, "Oh, well, what do I do with these?" And they're <laughs> These bottles. You ordered them. I said, "Oh, that's the new stuff." So, uh, anyway, uh, glad to see those come in. Awesome. And then, last but not least. Okay, I, I'm going to make a plea here. Somebody needs to buy this. <sighs> okay. It took about four months to get this pen. All right. Uh, I ordered it. I'm crossing my arms. And... It is the the Sailor Kabazaiku. Uh, cherry bark. Cherry bark. Yeah, we we used to take these to pen shows. Uh, when they were um, a little more readily available, and we'd sell at least one every show. Every show we'd sell one of these. It's a gorgeous pen. It's, um, I'm not usually into wood pens, because usually when you so think about wood pens, sometimes you think about kit pens, and um, and this is this is a, just a remarkable pen. Uh, it's beautiful. It's, depending on how you rotate it, it shines in the light. And so... Why am I not keeping it? Yes. I, I. You want somebody else to have the love? Do you have I want other, somebody else to have oh, the love you know on this, this pen. means. It means he's got something else on his list. There's, and he's there's always trying something else. to choose. Um, this is a great pen. So it has a 14 karat nib. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this pen that they, they designed is, you know, with most wood pens, you don't want to post because you can risk uh, scratching, making a groove in the barrel. Uh, we've seen that with uh, Izumos in the past. Uh, but what Sailor did is they made a little clutch oh. on the back end 
of the pen and so the cap snaps on to the back to post um, and really even though it's a 14 karat nib uh, same nib that's on the standards and slims it's really uh, a nice weight and a nice length it's much longer than a, like a 1911 standard okay um, beautiful it's a flat top um, it doesn't really fit into the 1911 Pro Gear. It's not necessarily a Pro Gear because it's flat. So it has the, the Anchor logo on the cap. Um, cartridge converter, of course. So Brian wants it, but he's got something else that he wants more. So please buy it so he's not tempted. Is that uh, what you're saying? Yeah, I have more on order. <laughs> uh, it, may, it may take six months, and I, I hope they're still making them when, when, okay. when we get them. But I have more on order. Uh, but this one came in. It was really a shock. I had no idea it was coming. So... Um, in this one, this one's really an exceptional, exceptional piece. Um, well, since each one is different, each you one's never different. know yeah. if it's going to have more light, more dark, more... Yeah. some They're all great, but some are just, like, way better than others. And this, this one is, like, top, top five that we've ever had. It's got this beautiful section here. Okay. It's, it's great. Anyway. 40 minutes later, Brian's like, yeah, okay. We still have... <laughs> <laughs> no, great, Pat. I just want to let everybody know it's available. Uh, I was actually surprised we had a number of um, registrations for uh, notices for this pen, and uh, they all went out and nobody bought it. <laughs> and I kept so saying, Brian's well, thinking, Woo, I said, I if, nobody, if nobody buys it, I'll keep it. And then nobody bought it. So I was like, well, okay. One um, last try. Here it is. And it comes in a nice box. It comes in their kind of their deluxe box. It comes with a free bottle of ink. Um, very cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's a very nice pen. So. Cool. I like to see you get excited about things like paper. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, I mean... You get excited about pens all the time. I do, but there are some really great pens. I know. So... What else are we going to talk about? Uh, I don't know. Uh, here in Appleton, uh, we are still open six days a week, and uh, the store staff is about to start decorating for Christmas. Oh, I yes. can't wait to yes. see. Uh, this year, we're going to participate in the Appleton window display. What do they call it? The window walk? The window walk, yep. where you can walk around at night and um, see all the decorated windows. So. We've got some great ideas. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be Christmas related, but it's also going to be pen themed. Um, so um, Amanda's getting some some killer ideas and uh, <clears throat> Dave's Dave, bringing her a tree. And, yeah, Dave so. always does a great job um, in the store. And so uh, we've got a, a big double window that we're allowed to use mm -hmm. and I'm um, excited. Yeah, I think in the past has been there's always been so much extra stuff going on and now <clears throat> Amanda's got a little extra energy that none of us can figure out where she gets. And, uh, <laughs> and so I think it, it'll be fun to do and set up and um, you know, in, in Appleton this year doesn't have our, our annual Christmas parade, which yeah. has always been a big deal, and it's always been a big deal for AP. Because we've always done a party along yep. with it for the staff, and uh, we're, we won't do that yeah. this year. But. We always have, uh, you know, we get a crock pot out, and everybody brings the whole family, and we get uh, really um, good time. snacks and treats and yeah. some beverages, and we watch the parade, and and it's fun. Critique but the uh, uh, marching bands. You critique the marching bands, because <laughs> most of us, uh, actually there's several of us that are music majors, and the ones that aren't, um, we have degrees in music, and then the ones that aren't have played instruments, so... We just play. You um, all are degreed. We have we have uh, a trumpet player, a trombone, euphonium player, two bassoonists, flute, and what else am I missing? Piano? What do you play, Justin? Leave me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me out of it. Don't play anything. I'm the, I guess the... Start You're the off. conductor. Okay. There you go. So anyway, um, so if you are in Appleton, you'll see uh, Check out the coming up soon. I think we're going to start after November 1st. We're going to start decorating the windows. So it'll be a lot of fun. Yep. So there you so, go. What else you got? Anything? Um, because the Appleton store is still open six days a week, we are still shipping six days a week. So keep that in <laughs> mind. Um, also keep in mind uh, two things. Postage delay, um, postal delays. Uh, does seem that packages are taking a little bit longer to arrive to you. Yep. Um, there's really nothing we can do about that. It's it's postal regulations, uh, COVID. Some we're seeing we're seeing a little bit of a let up in some of the some of the delays we've been seeing, a but little bit, it's a little but, bit. But you know, just just keep that in mind. Just be patient. Uh, it's going to get there. We almost never have something that gets lost. I no, mean, you know, the no. thousands and thousands and thousands of packages we ship. Almost nothing. Ever, it almost always gets there. 
but uh, there have been some delays, so just give it an extra day or two yep. before you start to panic. <clears throat> I'm, I'm with you. You know, you place the order, you click submit, and then you go to the door and you wait for yep. the mailman. Um, but the mailman's just a little slower these days. So the other thing about postage, we should mention uh, the U.S. Postal Service announced a temporary rate increase. Uh, from now until like December 27th. Yeah, I wonder if it's temporary yeah. or not. I wonder not, if it's but... temporary or not, but regardless, uh, we, we have now, shipping over 50 is still free, so it doesn't apply if you buy 50 bucks worth of stuff, uh, but we have bumped up our rate just 50 cents uh, just to cover us because we- Just to cover that cost. Just to we... cover a little bit. We, we don't make any money on shipping. In fact, we lose money on shipping every year. Yes. So. But, uh, Our just accountant to, always looks at it and goes, you what? <laughs> did you really yeah. ship that much? Yes. So anyway, uh, so you, you'll see that it's not a lot. Um, like but I say, it's 50 just, cents. Just something to be aware of and, and just to be transparent about it. So there you go. Awesome. That's I think that's it. it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, upcoming events, and anything else that uh, the team decides to surprise us with. And you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. <laughs> like this video and subscribe. That you should just talk. No way, man. <laughs> like this video and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you next time. <laughs>